Hey y'all, let's take a look at what's called scientific notation. Scientific means, of course, it has to do with science. Notation means the way you write things, a method or a, a certain, you know, just a method that you write things scientifically. And I'll, basically, this is what you're looking at when you do scientific notation. You have a number, and a lot of times in science we do with these gigantic numbers, like the distance from the sun. You don't want to write in some book, you know, oh dear, like, you know, oh, it's 37, you know, um, you know, you know, light years away from you, like, ugh, whatever. Also, you might, you don't, you don't want to do something like this either. Oh, this is the length of this bacterium or whatever. Okay, what a disaster. Like, can you imagine, like, some person going, uh, let me count this here. One, two, uh, also, not to mention, like, how, I mean, it takes up so much space in a book. Just, you're just waiting for a disaster to happen. Anyway, so there is a method we write things that are large numbers or really small numbers in scientific notation, and this is how you do it. What you do is you have, you'll have the first number will be between one and 10. Not including 10, but it can be one. And you're gonna multiply it by the number, the numeral 10, and then to the power whatever that is, okay? So let's look at this, a couple of these first. If you multiply, let's say this number, 0 0.0534 by 1,000. Now again, please, for heaven's sakes, do not go, okay, I'm gonna multiply by 1,000. 0 0.0534, now zero times, and then four, uh, uh, then, then eight zeros, and um, ugh, don't do any of that jump. Just take the thing, you know, uh, if you multiply by 1,000, you just gonna you get three zeros, so you're gonna move this decimal place over three times. There you go. So the answer is fifty-three point four. Okay. If you were to say the same thing, like that is that is almost in scientific notation right here. The same problem, but instead of writing a thousand, you're gonna write ten to the third power, which is a thousand, right? Ten times ten times ten is a thousand. So you've done the same thing. If you multiply by 10 to the third power, that three right there is telling you to move that decimal point over one, two, three times. So the answer is also going to be 53.4, okay? Now we'll get into ones where they do 10 to the negative three and 10 to the negative 10, things like that. We'll save that for just a little while, okay? Write this number in scientific notation, 7 million 24,000 in scientific notation. Okay, well, here's the deal. You want, in scientific notation, a numeral between one and 10, okay? And you'll say times 10 to the bloop, whatever, that number is power. That's how you write in scientific notation. Now, where is the decimal right now in this number right there? Where is the decimal? It's right there, right? Okay, it's not, there's no, there isn't a decimal there, but we, we know it's there. Okay, so we need to move this thing over so that the new number is between one and 10, including one. So we're gonna have to go one, two, three, four, five, ah, right there. Okay, our new number is 7.024. You don't have to write the rest of the zeros, okay? We have moved that. If we were to start there at 7.024 and move it over six times, that would be the same number. So we're gonna put 10 to the sixth there you go. That's how you turn a number into a number in scientific notation. Let's try another one. All right, this is not in scientific notation because this new, this number 476.23 is bigger than 10. It needs to be between 1 and 10. Include, and it can be 1, it can't be 10. Okay, so we're gonna, how many times do we need to move this decimal so that the new number is between 1 and 10? I'm not gonna move it this way, right? We're gonna move it this way. We can move it once and then twice, and then our no, new number is 4.7623, all right? We still need a times 10 to the something power. Well, what, how many times would you move this over to get back to 476.23? You'd move it twice, right? 10 to the second power, and that's the answer. Let's, let's look at this very quickly. You can tell what's going on is when you move it to the left, you're gonna be adding you know, th those numbers. We'll come more to moving it to the right in a little, another time, okay? But look at this. This number here is between one and 10, 4.76, right? What is 10 to the second power? It's 100, right? What is 4.76 times 100? 
Well, if you look at this and go, oh, there are two zeros, so I move it over twice. 476.2, Four, oh, that's the same thing. There you go. That's why that's in scientific notation. Okay. Oh, about this one. This looks weird. Well, let's, let's turn this from a number. It's already in scientific notation, but let's turn it into a normal number with just a decimal in it. Okay. Well, we can we we know that. Let's let's do this first. If we had four point seven six times ten to the third power, ten to the third power is a thousand, right? What's four point seven six times a thousand? That means we'd move that decimal over three times this way, and the answer would be four thousand seven hundred sixty, right? Okay. This is not the same thing. What's the difference? It's negative three, right? So logically, if we move this thing over three times, we're going to move this over to the left three times. So we're going to take 4.76. We're not going to multiply by 10 to the third power and move it this way. We're going to multiply by 10 to the negative third power and move it this way. So one, two, three. And there's your decimal right there. And of course, if nothing's there, you're going to put a couple of zeros. So the answer is 0 0.00476. Just a note, quick note. You're going to see numbers like this with positive, 10 to the positive number power, those are bigger numbers. Ones like this that have a negative, they're gonna be smaller numbers, like decimals. Sometimes a lot of zeros in there. All right, let's try another one. Write this in scientific notation. Well, it ain't in scientific notation now, right? Because that number is not between one and 10. Now, what do we need to do to make it between one and 10? Well, let's do it this way. If, let's pretend we had 652, and they said, write this in scientific notation. You would go, okay, my decimal's right there. I'm gonna move it over two times. That's gonna be, you know, I'm gonna start right there. One, two, that'll be 6.52 times 10 to the, one, two, 10 to the second power. Because 10 to the second power is 100. Six and a half times 100 is about 600. Yep, that's it, 10 times, yep, okay, I got it. Well, look over here. We're not moving this decimal over to the left twice like we did here. We're moving it over to the right. So what do you think is going to happen to that 10 to the second power? It's going to be 10 to the what power? Let's do it. Okay, look at here. I got a 1. I got a 2. That's where I need to move it to make that 6.52 between 1 and 10, right? We did move it twice over, but we moved it the other way. So this will be 10 to the negative 2 power. That's scientific notation. There you go. Okay. By the way, uh, 10 to the negative 2 power is 1 over 1,000, not 1,000. We'll talk more about that later. Okay, let's just get these down. All right, you tell me what these are in standard notation, which just means normally what you see. All right, 4.6 times 10 to the 4th. You know what? Let's do B first. 4.6 times 10 to the fourth. Well, 10 to the fourth is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. It's 10,000, right? So you don't need to know, you know, again, don't, please don't write, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna multiply this out. 4.6, I'm gonna, please, for heaven's sakes, all right. All you're gonna do is just move that decimal over four times, right? We're gonna go one, we're gonna go two, three, and four, and put, them, put zeros in there, and the answer is 46,000, right? We got it. Now, you know this is not gonna be the same thing, because that's a 10 to the negative four, not 10 to the four. So 4.6 times 10 to the negative four, if we move this four times to the right, we're gonna move this four times to the left, okay? And don't forget, you need to get, get this thing in your mind. Um, scientific notation uh, numbers with positive exponents are bigger numbers. Ones with negative exponents are smaller numbers. So we're gonna take 4.6 times 10 to the negative fourth, which means we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then there's point zero, zero, zero. There we go, okay. All right, look on page 164, and uh, let's take a look at those and write those all in scientific notation, and we have six of them. So do as many as you want, I'll do one at a time. Okay, A, let's take a look. We've got uh, the decimal is right here. It needs to be moved five times, right, to make that number between one and 10. So we have 4.76 times 10 to the fifth power, all right? B, we're gonna need to move this thing four times, right? So we get 4.76 again times 10 to the, now, this is gonna have to be 10 to the negative four power. 
very small number, negative exponent, okay? It wouldn't be 4.76 times 10 to the fourth power, right? Because 10 to the fourth power is 10 times 10 times 10, that's 1,000 times 10, 10,000. That'd be 47,600, not right. Not the same thing as that, negative four. Okay, C, the decimal is right here. You need to move it three times, six times, and then seven times. So 3.056 times 10 to the seventh power. There we go. Now you know, what. look at D. What kind of an exponent is this thing gonna be? Look, just looking at it. Teeny, teeny number, right? Okay, be negative, right? So let's just prepare for it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, just six, okay. So 3.056 times 10 to the negative six. There we go. Okay, E and F, let's try E. Standard notation, we're gonna go work backwards now, okay? You don't need to do any multiplication, you just need to be moving decimals. So you move the decimal over five times, and that gives you one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And that's how much money I make every week. It takes me a whole month to earn that much. Okay, let's do this one. That negative uh, exponent, you know that's gonna be a really small number, right? So let's start with 4.72 and move it over which way? Left, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, point zero, 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 four, seven, two is your answer. All right, give those a whirl, have fun with those. And by the way, when you get these scientific notation numbers down, this, this whole method down, you're gonna be a whiz at chemistry and biology and all kinds of things. I mean, astronomy, all kinds of neat stuff. You can focus on the planets, and you can focus on the biology, and you can focus on the chemical formulas and things like that, and not even worry about the math. Saxon's Osman does that. So, all right, see you guys next time, take care.